Bill, slightly different here. MTD obviously visiting your business today, looking at flame cutting, plasma cutting on behalf of Kerf Developments. Tell me about your relationship with them and why you've got their machines. We've got Kerf Developments because they're excellent at what they do. They've also made bespoke machines for us, as you'll see a bit later. And, and how many machines have you got from Kerf? Uh, we've got seven to date, uh, and we plan on even more shortly. And is that a mix of, of the plasma and the uh, laser or the oxyfuel machines? Yeah, mix of flame cutters and plasma cutting. Plasma cutting is very different to flame cutting. It's a lot quicker. Uh, the quality of cut is much better. So, but the downside to it um, is you can only cut certain thicknesses. You can only cut up to about 30 millimeters on this machine, whereas flame cutting, as you will see in a short while, we can go up to a meter. And is there a big market for both? Totally. Yeah, totally a big market for mouth. We, we start at six millimeters and we go all the way up to 1400 millimeters. Because I know the, so, the Kerf's machines come in various different sizes, don't they? You, you, they're adaptable. You can buy, um, well, you, you can buy as big a machine as you need for a part, really. But you've got here three and a half meters? Uh, yeah, three and a half meters by two and a half meters, yeah. And tell us about the company, Bill. The company is going from strength to strength. Uh, myself and a colleague got involved with the company two years ago. Uh, we've taken the, well, we've increased the company turnover significantly in that two years, thanks to the help. I was going to say, would you say Curve's machines have, have been a part of that? Totally. They're a great company to deal with, very flexible. They've made a bespoke machine for us, which they call the Beast, incidentally, which you'll see in a short while. And, and what about, I, I, you did mention to me earlier, or Neil did, that you've got one of the biggest grinding machines in the world? Yeah, we've actually got two of the biggest grinding machines. We've got the biggest rotary grinder, which is a 135 inch diameter. I've also got the biggest reciprocating grinder as well, which is over five and a half metres long. Okay, and then so, you, so you're grinding, but also we've spoken about the plasma and the flame cutting. You've got six or seven machines from Kerf. What's the split plasma to oxyfuel? Yeah, you're looking at 80-20 uh, at the moment. 80-20 on, on the flame, flame cut. cutting? Flame cutting side, yeah. Okay, and on that point, we've spoke about the beast. Let's go and have a look at it. Sounds like a plan. So Bill, what have we got here? Uh, we've got a, a bespoke built flame cutting machine that Kerf built for us. We were having huge problems with the other machines that we have that you've seen before. Uh, the bridge on them wasn't quite high enough. And when we cut thicker materials, they were actually melting the machine away. Well, how, how thick a material? I mean, this is a hell of a workpiece you've got on here, but how thick can you go? This one is quite thin, actually. This is only 250 mil. We've got a smaller torch there that will cut 250, but the big torch you would, that you see at the moment will cut up to a metre thick material. A metre thick? A metre thick, yeah. And it's a much demand for that? There is. Uh, when we joined the company two years ago, um, this company wasn't used to cutting this kind of thickness. Since we joined now, we have a big demand for the thicker materials, hence why we have to, uh, why we have to ask her to make us this machine. What about the cooling? And you've got two heads on this machine, is that correct? There is two heads at the moment, but with this kind of thickness, you cut with only one head. Uh, Cooling-wise, uh, you have to be very careful because the heat that's generated will melt the machine if you're not careful. This is what was happening previously, hence why they've made the machine that's slightly higher with a, a higher bridge. And also, it's, it's cooled down internally, which is quite clever, to cool down all the running mechanism inside. Very impressive, Bill. Thank you. You're welcome.